Okay, so moving on in continuity, now we're going to give a, um, a precise definition for a continuous function. So, a function f of x is continuous at x equals a if three conditions are met. All right, so I'm going to write um, in one column the three conditions, and for each one I'm gonna uh, tell you what the action is to prove that condition. So we're gonna be, uh, whenever a question asks you is a function continuous, you got to prove each of these three conditions. So the first condition is that f of a is defined. All right, if we're proving that a function is continuous at x equals a, then f of a has to be defined. The action for that, it's pretty easy. You just, uh, you plug in a for f of x, okay? And you get a value. If the function isn't defined at, uh, at a, then right away you know it's not continuous there. Now, when that condition passes, the second condition we have to prove is that the limit as x approaches a of the function exists. Okay, so the action to take for that is that you find both one-sided limits um, so the limit as x approaches a from the left side of f of x and you find the limit as x approaches a from the positive side. So if those two limits, uh, those two one-sided limits exist and they equal, then you know that this limit exists. And the third uh, step is that uh, once you get f of a and once you get this limit, they both have to equal. So the limit as x approaches a of f of x has to equal f of a. And uh, that's pretty easy. That's just making sure. Uh, um, so make sure conditions one and two All right, so this chapter is pretty much based on proving these three conditions to prove that a function is continuous at a specific point x equals a.